time the city has opened up temporary shelters at the, the vacant schools that they did in December. And we actually got a tour of one of those schools today. Bassett Middle School and Brianna Pettis was on that tour and she joins us live with how it looked inside. Brianna. Bassett Middle School closed down about three years ago. Now we're getting a chance to see how it will be used to house up to 500 migrants. Now during our tour, we will we were able to see the different rooms that we were going that that we were going to for for migrants to be sheltered. The school is divided into two groups: families and single male adults. We saw old van rooms and libraries going to be used for families as well as women and children. The school's gymnasium, which houses about 275 cots, is going to be used for single male adults who they see more of. School gym showers now going to be utilized for male migrants as well. Deputy City Manager Mario De Agustino explains what the process is like for migrants when they get here. It's a lot of operations. We want to make sure that their needs are met when they first get here. Make sure they have basics such as water, cell phone service, some Wi-Fi is what we're providing for them so that they can actually connect. Those who have a means actually do their processing as we've discussed before. They can do their processing on their own and it's just about helping them get transportation to the bus depot or to the, to the uh, airport. And officials say this school will temporarily house migrants for up to 48 hours. In addition, they say that they will have eight security guards as well as EPPD outside in the area patrolling. For now, reporting outside of Bassett Middle School, Brianna Pettis, ABC7. All right, Brianna, thank you for that live update. Meantime,